Hey, Greg Silva from Black Belt Excellence. Hey, this is one of my favorite months. We're talking about strength. And I really love talking about strength because I like to see kids and students get physically fit. So working on strength is really, really important. Also being mentally strong. Uh, so we're going to tie in uh, again both of those because it's about the physical part of martial arts. And with Black Belt Excellence, it's about the mental part of martial arts. First thing we're going to do is a little review. Or this may be new to you if you're new to Black Belt Excellence. We're going to teach the kids and they're going to memorize the Black Belt Success Cycle. The Black Belt Success Cycle is knowing what you want, having a plan, and a success coach, taking consistent action, reviewing progress, renewing goals. So again, that's the Black Belt Success Cycle. You can start right off the bat. This, hey guys, we're working about, we're, <laughs> sorry, we're working on strength this month. We're working on mental strength and physical strength. Now, to get stronger mentally, to get stronger physically, we need to have a plan. So we're going to memorize the Black Belt Success Cycle. First, we know what you want. Know what you want is number one. Having a plan. So like this is like a, a plan or a blueprint you're opening up. Have a plan. And a success coach. Success coach is like your martial arts instructor. If you're struggling in martial arts, you come to me or one of the other assistants and they're going to help you overcome that problem. So it's really important to have a success coach. Just like at home, your parents are your success coach. They're the ones to go to if you have questions or you need some help. Next thing we have to do is take consistent action. If we're going to reach our goal, just like if you're going from white belt to yellow belt, you have to take consistent action. If you're going from red belt to black belt, take consistent action then we review our progress just like with the belt systems and the stripes each month we have a stripe system we're reviewing our progress and then we're renewing our goals now it's time to get the next stripe so everyone after me know what you want have a plan and a success coach take consistent action review your progress renew your goals so we're going to teach that at the beginning of the class. They should know it by the end of the month because they're going to repeat it uh, every single class when they come in, similar to a student creed. Now, for physical strength, we're going to do push-ups, and we're going to just talk about having a strong upper body, arms, chest, is going to give you strong blocks and strong punches. So we're going to do some push-ups today. With the little kids, you may want to do 25. With the older kids, we're going to do 100. And the plan is we're going to start with one, and then we're going to do that, take a little rest, and then we're going to do one more. Everyone can do one more. So with the uh, little kids, to get to 25, they're going to do one push-up, take a rest, two push-ups, rest, three push-ups, rest, four push-ups, rest, five push-ups, back down to four, back down to three, back down to two, back down to one, and that comes out to be 25. So that's a good goal for the kids. Now, when you're doing it and you're motivating the kids, they say, okay, we've done two. Can we do one more? They're going to go, sure. So now we're going to do three. Hey, guys, how are you feeling? Oh, that was easy. Can we do one more? Sure. Same thing with the older kids. With the older kids, you're doing 100. So you're going to do one, then two, three, all the way up to 10. Then once you get 10, you can do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Give them a little rest. Give them a little encouragement. Because anytime we're taking consistent action, it's much easier for the kids if you're motivating them. And if you're a good finder, you're telling them, hey, those are great pushes. I love your energy. All that reinforcement is going to help them become mentally strong because they're not going to give up. And physically strong because, hey, that's a lot of push-ups. So it's going to take a little more time with your exercise. Uh, try to have them do good push-ups. So as you're doing them, become a good finder. You know, point out that kid, hey, I like the way you're doing it. Your back's nice and straight. I like the way you do it. Your head's uh, looking forward. I like the way you do it. You're coming really low to the ground. Be a good finder. You know, give them some praise. Have someone come up and uh, demonstrate and have them uh, spotlight and motivate uh, a section of your group. But that's your charge as a coach. Remember, know, know what you want. Have a plan. The plan is doing these push-ups and a success coach. You're their success coach. You're not the drill sergeant. You're the success coach. You're talking about their successes, giving them a pat on the back. Uh, this is kind of really important. So when you're teaching class, you're doing this, and you can inevitably find some kids doing terrible push-ups. That's okay. 
Make sure you talk in the positive. Don't say, hey, that was a terrible push-up. Your butt's way up in the air. Say, hey, guys, see if you can keep your back straight and go just a little bit lower. Let's go halfway down this time. Hey, next one. Hey, that was really good. Let's see if we can go a little bit lower this time. So be a success coach, not a drill sergeant. Review your progress. Hey, guys, we made it all the way to 10. Now it's going to be really easy because we're going to do nine. You've already done nine before. You know you can do that. So, you know, take consistent action. Review that progress and renew the goal. Every time you start, we're renewing the goal. Hey, guys, we did eight. Can you do one more? Now the goal is nine. So you're teaching physical strength and you're combining it with the mental strength. They're being um, consistent. They're taking that consistent action. You're being their success coach. You're building them up by encouraging them. So that's it. I mean, that's it for week one. Week two and three, uh, again, we're going to have some physical challenges. This is fun. I remember doing these uh, uh, push-ups in my school. We would get and I said, hey, guys, do you know how many we did in total? And the kids would go, I don't know. I said, we did 100. You know, the last kid, the last class did 100, and you did just as good as they did. So, I mean, you can go home and say, hey, my dad, we did just as good as everyone else. Of course, if you want to go home with some bragging rights and go, hey, we did more push-ups than the first class, how many more do you want to do? I know you're a little bit tired. We already did 100. But if we're going to set another goal so we can now beat the last class, how many could you do? Some kids go, we can do two more. Okay, let's do two more. And they say, they'll do two. And this is what I would do after that. I say, wow, that was really good, guys. You did two push-ups more than the last class. Okay, I, I know you did more, but two? I mean, that's not really bragging rights. I mean, if we beat them by 10, that'd be really bragging rights. And so all of a sudden the kid goes, we can do eight more. And so then we do some more. So I really like to have some fun with the class. You know, use a little bit of humor and use it to motivate them to do more than they think they could. And give them that feeling, hey, we did really good. The last class did 100 and we did 110. It's all through psychology. It's all through motivation. Have fun this week. Um, strength, again, is my favorite. You know, we're going to get physically strong. We're going to get mentally strong. And just enjoy this with the kids and have them memorize that black belt success cycle.